Hello, and welcome to Cindy's Corner. Today, boys and girls, we're going to talk about imagination. Do you have a good imagination? What are some things, and you can stop me and let your kids talk about what are some things that you can imagine? It could be real or it might be not real. What are something that you imagine? All right. Now that you're back with me and you know what you can imagine, we, our story today that we're going to review is never show a T-Rex a book. Now, why? What's a T-Rex? A dinosaur. All right. Why would we not want to show a T-Rex a book? Could we do that? No, that's an imagination, isn't it? Yes, because we don't have a T-Rex around, all right, unless it's a stuffed one and a, a toy. So if you've got the book, never show a T-Rex a book. Go get it so you can review with us. Looks pretty fun. Look at him. He's doing all kinds of stuff with his. That T-Rex. Here's our title page. Never show a T-Rex a book. The author is Rash Rashmi Sardesh Pade. I hope I said that right. I could have butchered it up. I'm sorry. And our illustrator is Diane Ewan. Never show a T-Rex a book. Just imagine if you do. Well, she won't know what to do with it, will she? She'll probably think it's a hat or a pillow or a biscuit. So, you'll have to sit down and teach her how to read. And if you teach her how to read, she'll get all excited and want to read even more. So, you'll have to sneak her into the library. And if you take her to the library, She'll want to borrow a lot of books. A lot of books. Look at that. The library is like, no way. Books about space and pirates and jungles and dragons. Books about cooking. Books about music. Books about numbers and books about fancy complicated things that look very important. And if you borrow all those books, you'll have to hide all of them and the T-Rex in your room so your parents don't find out or You'll be in big trouble, won't you? And when everyone's gone to sleep, you'll have to sit up all night reading to her with her. And the next day, you'll have to do it all over again. And again, and again. Imagine that, how to meditate. And if you read all those books, you are going to get very, very, very sleepy. And she is going to become very, very Clever. 
And if she becomes very clever, she might just decide that she's bored with just being a dinosaur. She might decide that she'd prefer to be an artist, a doctor, a professor, an architect, a computer specialist, an astronaut, or even talk with your friend. What could she become? Okay, let's go back. The prime minister. And if she becomes the prime minister or the president, what do you suppose she'll do next? The first thing she'll do is pass some new laws. Everyone knows that dinosaurs love watching movies. So she'll invite all her friends and make sure they have bigger seats at the cinema and bigger tubs of popcorn and no more roofs on buses and libraries everywhere, lots of them. Of course, she'll want to make sure that all of her friends learn how to read. They probably won't all fit in your bedroom, will they? You got that big of a bedroom? Imagine what will happen next. You will, you'll just have to turn, take them to school with you. That'll be, uh, oh, the teach, interesting. And if they all learn to read and all become really, really clever, there will be just no stopping them. They will be everywhere. They have dinosaurs working everywhere, serving your food, being a pilot. Amazing. Can you imagine? Hairdresser. All that because you showed T a T-Rex a book right? That's quite enough imagining for one day. But there's no stopping you imagining something different tomorrow. Completely different tomorrow. So, in the comments, I want you to tell me what do you imagine? It can be real or not real. Just imagine. Let it go wild. If you can imagine it, can you make it happen? It's up to you. Could a T-Rex, could this really happen? No, because we don't have T-Rexes now. So this could not happen. But there's some imagining things that you could really happen. Maybe a dog. Could you teach a dog to read? I don't know about that. If you do, make sure you tell me in the comments if you've taught a dog to read. All right. Or a cat. Um, I hope you enjoyed our story today. And make sure you give it a thumbs up. Looking for that thumbs up. I love to get my thumbs ups. And make sure you ring that bell. Because I'm looking for my subscribers out there. Now, I want you to put September the 3rd on your calendar, 6 o'clock p.m. Central Time. I'm going live, and I'm going to read a special book just for you on live. And if you join us or you send me an email, I am going to put you in for a drawing for our first set of four Winkle books. That's right. 
I will get your address and mail you the first four books of our Winkle series. I hope you enjoyed this and you've subscribed. And most important, give somebody a hug and tell them you love them. Have a great one.